Yeah. Chapter three. We're still in the flashback to Janie's youth when she was younger. Um, Janie starts to question whether marriage brings love. Because she thinks, oh, I didn't love Logan, but maybe the longer I'm married to him, eventually I'll fall in love with him. Have you guys heard about that before? Yeah, yeah I've heard that too. So she's hoping that being married to him will bring love. But she's starting to wonder because she's been married to Logan and it's not working out so far. Now, Janie finally does marry Logan for sure. And she becomes, it says the mistress, but it means she's the woman of the house. And they own 60 acres of land and they have a farm. And so Janie marries Logan at Nanny's house. And then they have a little dinner, a little feast. And then Janie gets to Logan's house and she's lonely, she's bored. They're in the middle of nowhere. And then three months later, she's hoping that she's in love with Logan, but she's not. Uh-oh. So Janie goes and sees her nanny. She's like, nanny, what happened? I'm not in love with this guy yet. And Janie's really upset, and nanny's trying to tell her, you know, oh, are you pregnant? Is that why you're all excited, or is that why you're being quiet? Um, but then she starts thinking, okay, is Logan abusing you? Is he being mean? And look at this, beat my baby already. She expected Logan to beat Janie as if this is normal behavior for a relationship. And I would guess in that time period, it probably was. So it was expected. But she said already, meaning she thinks it, would, it was gonna take longer, like many years, but it's only been three months. She, but he hasn't been hitting her yet. It's just, she's not having any fun and she doesn't love him. Um, then Nanny learns why she's actually upset. It's because she doesn't love Logan and Nanny gets mad at her. She's like, are you kidding me? It should be enough for you that you just have a husband, that he has, a, he has land and he has a husband. And Janie's like, but I don't like him. He's not romantic. He makes, all he does for her is chop wood. Oh, and look at this, this is funny. This is the part you guys, we were laughing about later, uh, or yesterday. Um, she says, Logan isn't attractive or in appearance or hygiene. Look at this, he has an asymmetrical head. What does that mean? It's like off center, right? And he doesn't wash his feet. Oh. And then Janie starts crying. She's like, I want my marriage to be like, look at this. She wants marriage to be like the pl blossoming pear tree. And then he says, just wait longer. Maybe it'll come later. Maybe you'll fall in love with him when you're with him longer. Nanny worries about Janie, but she knows, oh, no, I did the best I could. And she prays that God will help take care of her girl. Unfortunately, within a month, though, Nanny dies. A year has gone by now. Janie has learned her lesson. Guess what? She has learned marriage does not bring love. And when she realizes that, she gets extremely upset, distant, quiet. Um, she starts going into nature and just spending time with trees, um, thinking about the creation of the world, thinking about spring, bees, all that sort of stuff. And the chapter ends with Janie's first dream of love died. So she became a woman. Wow, that's sad.